Texas has had 60% increase in illegal immigrants in Texas. <laughs> if there's someone who has a record as governor with regards to illegal immigration that doesn't stand up to muster, it's you, not me. Governor Perry, you have 30 seconds. You stood here in front of the American people and did not tell the truth that you had illegals working on your property and the newspaper came to you and, and brought it to your attention and you still, a year later, had those individuals working for you. The idea that you can sit here and talk about any of us having an immigration uh, issue is beyond me. I've got a strong policy. I've always been against amnesty. You, on the other hand, were Time. for amnesty. I got 30 seconds, then we got to move on to another okay, immigration you, question. You wrote an op ed, ed in the newspaper saying you're open to amnesty. That's number one. Number two, we hired a lawn, a lawn company to, to mow our lawn, and they had illegal immigrants that were working there. And when that was pointed out to us, we let them go. And we went a to year, them and said, just, just, you have a problem with allowing someone to finish speaking. speaking. And I suggest <laughs> that if you want to become president of the United States, you got to let both people speak. So first, let me speak. So, So we went to the company and we said, look, you can't have any illegals working on our property. That's, I'm running for office for Pete's sake. I can't have illegals. It turns out that once again, they hired someone who had falsified their documents, had, had documents, and therefore we fired them. And, and let me tell you, it is hard in this country as an individual homeowner to know if people who are contractors working at your home, if they've hired people that are illegal. If I'm president, we will put in place an e-verify system, which you've opposed, to make sure that we can We're find out who's here illegally and not, and crack down on people who come here illegally. All right.